Hello, my name is Dan Richardson, and welcome to my thoughts on the born supremacy. So, yes, by the way, I am reviewing all these. Um, you know, I, I, I got them all just this past week, and, and I'm going to review them for y'all. So, the, um, it is directed by... Um, by Paul Greengrass so a change in directors and um and it's okay um the actress who like plays the sort of main antagonist of sort she does a good job she's a little, I'd say she's a bit more compelling than um, Chris Cooper was <clears throat> because like she eventually kind of sees because um, she eventually sort of turns around on Jason Bourne by the way minor spoilers for a movie that came out in 2004 but it minor spoilers but um you know it she kind of comes around on Jason, and, you know, it's kind of nice that, you know, she sort of was able to trust Jason more than Chris Cooper's character. So, basically, um, the story here is that, is that, um, the, the lady, her name is, uh, uh Lainey? maybe, I think that's her name, uh, she's doing this job in Berlin to get some, um, get some evidence, or to get some data files, and, um, Carl Urban uh, kills, um, the two people who are going to get that information, and frames Jason Bourne on it. Or, uh, uh, for the murders. And, um, basically, uh, Lainey takes it upon herself to try and, um, f hunt down Jason Bourne. But, of course, we know that Jason Bourne is in India with his, um, still with his girlfriend from the, from the previous movie, Mary. Or, um, not Mary. But, you know, from his, you know, from the previous movie, his girlfriend. <clears throat> and, you know, they're just living um, quietly in India. Maria. Her name is Maria. Um, so, and Carl Urban goes and tries to kill Jason, but he actually ends up killing Maria. So, Jason's primarily alone in this movie, which I think uh, is a little bit of a, of a mistake on the part of the writers. Um, Tony Gilroy is the only writer for this movie because um, Tony Gilroy wrote it, wrote the first movie with somebody else, and this is just Tony Gilroy. And um, y'all, I think we we got really lucky. Assuming this is the same Tony Gilroy, we got lucky that Rogue One was written by like three people. We got lucky, but. Yeah, so, this movie, not as good as the first one, I'd say. Um, the, the car chase, I do think, is better. Um, but, we, you know, they still try to do the, okay, get inside Jason Bourne's head thing, where, you know, you're with Jason and you're trying to figure out the mystery along with him. And, I don't know, I rather liked it. Um, it, uh, Jason Bourne doesn't really get out of character at any point in this, in the film, which is good. You know, you want that from your, from your sequel. But, yeah, like, it, you know, if you like the first movie, then you might like this. Um, we do spend quite a bit of time with the bad guys, you know, with 
with Lainey and with Brian Cox's character. But other than that, it's pretty enjoyable. Um, the 4K conversion, because this is a, also a 4K review, the 4K conversion was okay. Um, there are some scenes with blacks, and the blacks really look black. Like, it's, it's, it's a little off-putting. A little bit. I don't know if this, if the conversion was as good as, say, the first movie, because I thought the first movie looked really good, but I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, somebody who knows a little bit more about 4K, please, um, let me know in the comments. But yeah, so, I think that will do it. Um, I'll give this movie, uh, um, a, th a three out of four. Why not? <clears throat> a three out of four. Once again, I'm still sick. I'm sorry about that, but yeah. Remember, <coughs> sorry. Also, tell me what was your favorite part of this about this movie? But now. Remember, God makes his vessel, and he loves you very much. Bye.